Hello, in this video, we are going to look at the display property in Bootstrap. So this is a really cool class that you can utilize to be able to do some really simple but useful stuff. I will provide a link to the official page that you can check out all the display property stuff. So there's a bunch of classes and the description of what you can do. But essentially, it just allows you to modify the way a particular element displays. So let me show you. If I was to create a div, and let's say this has a class of d dash inline, and uh, actually no, that's the display thing. Ignore that. And uh, if I put bg dash danger, and let's say if I put on, uh, uh, let's just say epic little text like so if i save that that's what we get okay so we get a element that spans 12 columns and he has this text in there but if this was a span it would be what is called an inline element if we for some reason wanted to use a div or make it act like an inline sort of like a span element we just put d dash inline and if you look it's only that amount as it takes to you know contain the content and you can also do the opposite essentially you can sort out the formatting you can let's say have a span and if we get rid of this refresh we, we get like a regular span so that's what we've essentially done with the div but imagine if we want to span but we want to have it as a block level element all we do we put d dash block as you can see nothing is on its line and it isn't on anything else's line okay so the other property i want to show you is you can apply to this to any type of element is if i have a div and let's say i put hello world in here save refresh it says hello world all cool stuff but what if we want to just sort of hide it we can just put class d dash none if i save that and let's say if i put some text here just the freak out is f they don't go below it so it's not invisible it's just not rendering it is still there why would you want to do this maybe you've got some concealed components and the user needs to trigger an event maybe press a button or if they're on a login form sometimes you press login and a bit of text maybe pops below the you know the text box is saying you know the password needs to be between six and 32 characters or the passwords do not match for example but that stuff is concealed so you can just have that there have it laid out and you just essentially remove this class in something like javascript or jquery then you reapply it when you don't want to show it so that is the basics of the display property like i said there's a bunch here so if you want to make it look like an inline block a table cell do all that stuff if you want to hide elements but also in different sizes as well so if you want to only hide it on the largest of screen sizes or if you only want to hide it on small screen sizes maybe the content is just too big for let's say for a phone and on all other devices you're happy to show a particular content or what you have is depending on what the actual device is you might have the content displayed in one way or displayed in a certain way and you can do that via hiding and visibility and you can do, do display on the print property as well so that's it for the display property if you have any questions as usual let me know i will pop my discord and my website in the description you can email me just the normal stuff and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video